Hello. And welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Zuna. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely morning and you've I'm had a, a good past few days. Morning. I am too. Ex I am as well. Exquisite. <laughs> and speaking of ex exquisite, um, Josh <laughs> has uh, city council stuff to talk about. Go ahead, Josh. I do. I do have city council stuff to talk about. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff today, too. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's mm hmm. All about. Oh, no. I think you minimized it. Uh, all about uh, like a health. It's the healthcare plan. Um, the city's got to like figure out the healthcare budget. Uh, so that's yeah. what yeah. the city council is talking about today. Yeah, which is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's important. <laughs> it is like, important. It really well, is. It's basically, it. it was the budget of the. It was the budget committee of the whole, and they were talking about the budget, and so they were talking about. Um, recommendations uh, for employee benefits and one thing that so in this kind of issue that I focused on this debate uh, that went on for about half an hour um, they talked not only about the process of how they decide what the health policy for the city are they also talked about transgender rights and um, how the city health um, how the health benefits should incorporate transgender people. So let's hear about this. Caitlin Koppel actually uh, brought this into motion. So let's hear from Caitlin Koppel. So I, I also wanted to make sure that the council knew that um, just nationally uh, there was just just released a transgender d discrimination survey and 41% of transgender people in this country have attempted suicide. Um, of those who have been turned away by a doctor because they were transgender or gender nonconforming, which can also include straight people or you know gay or lesbian people, 60% had attempted suicide sometime in their life. Um, and I think that we know enough about, you know, wanting to create a welcoming workplace and wanting employees here to be happy and have the care that they need that um, the the cost I think associated with having people live in a body that doesn't reflect who they are and not receive the care that they need um, that has been deemed medically necessary by the AMA and the pediatric people and the OBGYNs and everyone else um, is just it's just not okay so uh, getting the numbers was really hard I don't know why it was hard because Allegiance um, parent company is this company called Cigna, which has a track record of providing these benefits all across the country, so it shouldn't really be that hard. Um, and there was some runaround about how we had to get the secondary insurance, um, like okay, reinsurance. So that's Caitlin Koppel kind of talking about introducing the issue. Mm -hmm. And here is another city council member, Emily. She's going to talk about the process of deciding on health care and also the transgender rights. Here's what I'm getting at. Kaylin has a concern, mm -hmm. and she didn't. We didn't get an opportunity to weigh in at the beginning, when during the regular process, and now it sort of feels like we're being told it's pretty difficult to do it at the end to change things at the end. So when, as an employee of the city, was Kaylin? Was her concern represented? Other than at the very end, when now it seems like it's. Too hard to get those numbers. And oh, we can we can do it. <laughs> we can we can do it. Yeah. The question is just how how do we do it? Right. I think sorry the, to, I sorry think the interrupt. process was, uh, and I can provide some comment to Caitlin's concerns if that's okay. Okay. So that was them talking about the process. So basically, um, all the the health decisions for the the health policies were decided already, mm -hmm. and they were brought to the final stage, uh, city council. So mm. they're. Basically, they're they're talking about why is this? Why do we? Why are we hearing about it now? Why why weren't we along for the the whole uh, decision making process? So um, we're gonna see how um, they answer to that. I do think we need to uh, answer Emily's concern about process. I, I thought ABC had discussed this quite extensively, and it was presented. I mean, it it was deliberated. That's how I understood it, because uh, I think several meetings ago or whatever, and so they were deliberately working, deliberating on, on the request. And that's why even in the process, this idea did go back to all the employee groups and it was discussed and then brought back. So it's been, it was being discussed. They meet, you meet monthly, right? They've been meeting monthly and this has been discussed several months. So I, I just want to be clear about that. Okay, so that's them talking about 
process of making the decision. Um, here is um, Ed Childers talking about the overall um, policy. So let's listen to Ed. I, I just want to make it absolutely clear that you sit in the position that will make every budgetary decision that's made by the city of Missoula with the exception of a veto of whatever we do, which can be done by the mayor and we can override that. But you hold that position, not Bruce, nobody else, you hold that position. The Employee Benefit Committee is extremely knowledgeable and in my opinion, very considerate of every request that comes to it and that includes Caitlin's concern with transgender people. Okay, so that was Ed Childers, Ed Childers talking about the process. And now we're going to hear from uh, Marilyn Marler as she weighs in. <coughs> oh, I guess the video is not available. The video is not available there. Let's see if the well, video... What was the point that she, she made? Um, she was talking about how, uh, again, the process is decided by the city council and it's possible for... They, they, the city council, are in fact the only people who make the final decision right. on the health care policy. So um, it seems that we're having some technical difficulties, but let's see if the video for this is available. I, I just okay, think that it's important to understand that we, we in, in our plan, we have uh, 22 exclusions of uh, medical benefits, and, and this, this is one of them, there's no doubt. But, but there are exclusions uh, for other uh, uh, you know, surgical or uh, treatments, you know, that you might be surprised that are excluded, you know. And I just think you got to put that in the context of it. It's, uh, it's in our plans on page 27 called Medical Benefit Exclusions. And we could get that to you if you want to look at it. I just think you ought to put it in, in the context of what other things are, are excluded already. You what know. are some other things that are excluded? Well, um, it's all over the place. I mean, there, you know, uh, uh, abortion, special duty nursing uh, uh, charges, a connection with eye refractions, refractions, uh, fertility studies, uh, sterility studies. Um, okay, so that's they were talking about the exclusions, uh, medical exclusions, and well, transgender. Obviously, they're trying to not make that an exclusion. Um, and then the final uh, comment I'll give is from um, the Employee Benefits Committee person who just talks about, um, she just answers the question of process. So let's hear this. Comments. Um, you know, we did reach out. Caitlin first came to the EBC in November and presented, and then she came back again in March as a, you know, kind of a re-presentation and, and um, follow-up on her first presentation. And the first presentation was, um, you know, essentially this is what we, she'd like us to look at and what Med Ed mentioned as far as the language covering a medical necessity treatment if you're representing yourself as a, a different gender than what you were born with and ended. And we asked Allegiance if that would be covered and they assured us it was because we are on the self-funded side, not the fully insured side. The EBC is fine with adding additional specific language that Caitlin requested in the plan. She felt like it would just be better if there was specific language in there and the EBC was fine with that. Uh, it just, when it came down to the vote on the two options that were presented, there was a no vote on that. So I want to be clear, and we did send out um, an email to Allegiance asking for some additional information, and, and the problem is, is they don't have any group. All right, we have a guest here today. Yeah, we have Linda Lee from Missoula Time Bank, and um, Linda, how are you? I'm good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you yeah. for having me. So the first question is, is, you know, what is Missoula Time Bank? Well, it's an avenue for people to do exchanges, service exchanges, without exchanging any money. Um, it's different from bartering in that there's a bank, and the bank is a website, basically. Um, basically, you might rake somebody's lawn and earn an hour, and then you bank your hour, and then you can spend it. Okay. On something else like childcare. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it's an avenue for people to do exchanges and to build community um, by having it 
a little more organized. And I brought our mission statement because it's so community oriented. Is it okay if I read it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the Missoula Time Bank mission statement is building a community that supports our connection, aliveness, safety, and economic resilience by providing a service exchange based on time in which everyone has something of value to contribute. Right. What kind of, That's uh, awesome. what are the diverse, um, what's it called, like when a person does things, like, um, services. When a person, how many, what's the diversity of services provided through Time Bank? Like what are the many different services? Well, um, a few that I can think of right now are um, craniosacral therapy, dog walking, um, help with your taxes, uh, creating a resume, mm, cool. editing, you know, something that you've written that you want to have mm -hmm. edited. Um, you know, it runs the gamut. Uh, we had a, a member who made this incredible relish Right. And she had a certain number of jars, mm -hmm. and she decided that with her time and everything that she put into it, that these this relish was worth right. worth a certain number of hours. Mm -hmm. And they went like hotcakes. Cool. So, so it's like uh, the way I think of it is, it's like um, you walk someone's dog, they give you a back rub, and if you <laughs> pick up their poo, it's shiatsu. <laughs> right. Let me see. Okay. How, yeah. how does one become a time bank member? Well, all you have to do is go to the MissoulaTimeBank.org website mm -hmm. and fill out a form, and then you need to be oriented. And formal orientations happen once a month. You'll be informed right away mm -hmm. as soon as you turn in your form. But there are also opportunities at our office, our new office, which is um, at the Jeanette Rankin Peace Resource Center. Perfect. And so there, ha there are volunteers who will orient you one at a time. But we try to get groups together because usually if we have a group getting oriented, they meet each other, they find out what you know the other people are offering and exchanges happen right there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of fun. And we like to have community events also because of the same reason. Mm -hmm. We begin to get to know each other and more people will do exchanges. Who coordinates all this? Well, we have a steering committee of about five members, and we now have a student intern for the summer. And it takes a fair amount of time managing the website, um, doing all the orientations, keeping it all moving, promoting it. And what we'd really like to do <laughs> is hire a part-time coordinator. So we're, we're always fundraising for mm -hmm. that, and that's where part of the membership it's $25 a year. Okay. That's where the membership goes. And if you can't afford the membership, you can don't you can um, be charged hours. Okay. Oh. A couple of hours for your membership. Nice. nice. Yeah. That is so nice. you volunteer, volunteer your way out of it. Exactly. Good. Exactly. So it really doesn't ex exclude anyone. And we have people of all ages, including a couple of high school students that have joined. Nice. Very cool. Oh, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, like, where can people get in touch with you guys? How can people get in contact with you? The best way is to go to MissoulaTimeBank.org and, you know, just fill out your form and peruse the site as you, is that, I don't know if that's on screen now, but there are, you know, you can see the kinds of offers that are there. You're Right now you're in my, I think, my Time Bank yeah. page. And so I see there are some new offers, and somebody's looking uh, and a request. Somebody's looking for a house to rent. So it can also be a message board for things like that. Nice. And then you get an email once a week with new offers and that oh. sort of thing. So that's the other thing that's important because people are concerned about that sort of thing. Is yeah. is you'll only be contacted once a week unless you're actually doing an exchange. Nice. So you can look up the member's email, it's right there, and you just click on it and say, hey, I'm interested in your dog walking services. Mm -hmm. And so what services or goods do you contribute to this website? Well, I do a lot of volunteer time on the steering committee, but I also offer, um, I can sing a cappella at your special event. Nice. So at your wedding or at a service for someone mm -hmm. or you know just some sort yeah. of special event right. so if I sing 
It would be, <laughs> would it consider being negative hours? I know, it depends right. on, on how, you, how you sing. Right. And then I also teach something called interplay mm -hmm. on Fridays at the Open Way Mindfulness Center. Mm -hmm. It's an hour and a half and it's an avenue for adults to play. Oh my God, that so sounds great. So it's storytelling and movement. Well, there yeah. you go. Everybody, can, a whole, especially adults, can what use that. What time is it? Four thirty on Fridays at the so today uh -huh. at the Mindfulness Center, and it's Fun. an hour and a half. And all you have to do is show up. Fun. Yeah, and that's open to everybody, and it's offered as a service to the community anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, Time Make members are welcome to come, and it, you know, it's just a half an hour. Yeah. It costs you a half hour. Cool. All right. Well, Very cool. Well, thanks That's for joining us. Um, Noelle's got a lot of other events she wants to talk about. But Great. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Do you have anything you. else to say about before well, we head out? Just encouraging everybody to join the Time Bank and try it out because it really is a wonderful organization and a great way to exchange services without yeah, using any, money. Yeah. That's, I think it's wonderful. Thanks. I really do. Yeah. Thanks a lot for having me. Yeah. Right. Thank Thanks, you. Linda. Bye bye. MCAT is putting on a free concert. Come down to Stage 112 and see bands. The Hasslers. Boys. Hunter and the Gatherers. And Komoto Smile. Join us at Stage 112, Saturday the 24th at 10 p.m. to see your favorite bands. You must be 18 and over to attend. That was a great PSA. That was yeah. made, by, made by our very own Dylan Aldens. Nice. I just nice. had to show it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm really excited about that time bank. I'm really glad that she just came on. That's awesome. Yeah, That's absolutely. really awesome. It's good to know. Okay, hello everyone. We've got some weekend events. Okay, so starting tonight, 6 p.m. at the Dana Gallery is the third annual Icons of the West. Oh, third annual Icons of the West opening. Um, this is an art exhibition, is a diverse and engaging investigation and portrayal of Western icons and the role they play in contemporary American culture. Um, some of the artists will be there and there'll be music as well. So that's 6 p.m. at the Dana Gallery tonight. Also, Tom Catmull will be playing a dinner show at the Ten Spoon Winery. Um, the Ten Spoon Winery is open from four to nine. He will be on at 6 p.m. And Bigel will have anti-pasto plates for purchase, or you could just bring your own dinner. And I have permission from him to show you guys a sample of one of his songs. So here is Tom Catmull. <laughs> Ten Spoon Winery this evening. Yeah, and then also um, tonight, 
Zeppo Montana will be playing at the Union Club at 9 p.m. Free show as always. The Union is such a good venue for free shows and to dance. Um, I have permission from them to play one of their songs for you guys. So here is one of their songs, Pretty Women. Mm. Yeah, these guys are <laughs> these guys are good. Yeah. Zeppa Montana, and they will be at the Union tonight. Um, also, tonight is String Thaw at the Top Hat. This is, starts at 9.30 p.m. It's $10, and the bands that will be there will be the Little Smokies, Kitchen Dwellers, and Wise Water. And I have permission from the Little Smokies and the Kitchen Dwellers to show you guys samples of their songs. I wasn't able to get a hold of Wise Water, though, so you just have to check out the show. So here is one of the Little Smokies songs. They'll sleep on the side of the road Couldn't find anywhere to go I woke to a court when Lord Cool rain falling down Sounds were my own this morning Thoughts seemed to rattle around Rattle around I hitched a with the man who played so that is the Little Smokies, and here are the Kitchen Dwellers. I could have sworn I saw you dancing in the crowd somewhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yes, I'm on the moon again. Got the heavy earth exchange, a lot of breeze. So those are the kitchen dwellers, and they will be with a Little Smokies and Wise Water tonight at the Top Hat for String Thaw. Nice. And also tonight at Stage 112 is a hip hop group, Mezo Mesoic Mafia, and they present Raptor Rapture. And so I also have permission from them to show you guys one of their songs. So, I'm gonna do that right now. This is called Shifter. Annihilation, soldier on, judgment lies in waiting. Can't corral them with information. A bird's eye view of a movement do. Sense it in the wind, the signal's true. As the sky stays dark, the tribe embarks. The monumental moment has left its mark. Internal draw of a warning system. The polar pull to find what is missing. Travel pathways choked with the dead. Shifting landscapes bathed in red. Survival by all means, cost and cover. Pristine utopia starts to smother. X is blocked off. Yeah, so that Right. Um, that is the Dino Rap <laughs> album release, yeah. Live. It's awesome. It's at Stage 112. Um, it's free at 9 p.m. They'll also be with Beetlevox and Mr. Soap. Um, and there'll be artists, music, people on stilts. It's going to be a crazy time. It's going to be super fun. Cool. And it's free. And yeah. it's just like good hip-hop, lo you know, local hip-hop about dinosaurs and things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and speaking of Stage 112, we're... MCAT's doing mm -hmm. our show yeah. a, a week from tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. going to be the Saturday 24th. We have a lot of great bands lined up for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But go on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So also Saturday events. So now these are all Saturday events. Uh, the Farmer's Market, as we all know, is back. So Farmer's Market, um, that is the original Farmer's Market, and that is at the X's. That starts at 8 a.m. and goes to 1. 
And then um, down by Karis Park is a Clark Fork Market, and that goes from 8 a.m. to 1. And then um, uh, the People's Market is on Pine and Higgins, and that goes from 9 until about 2, I do believe. And then also tomorrow is Bear Awareness and Safety Demonstration. Um, this will be at the main Rattlesnake Trailhead. It's at 11 a.m., and I don't think there's any cost. I think it's free. Um, oh, wait, a bear aware demonstration? Bear? Yes. Are they going to like have a real bear there so they can demonstrate? No, 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 no. no. Because <laughs> that would be awesome. Renowned bear safety expert Chuck Bartlebro will provide bear awareness and safety info at the trailhead from 11 to 1. So it's just like all about learning bear safety, and he'll also demonstrate how to effectively use pepper spray. Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Because so. it does expire. You know, you might be, get a can yeah. of bear pepper spray from like five years ago. It's still good. It's not. Yeah. It expires. It expired. Yeah. And then um, also tomorrow is a drag show at the Palace. This is 18 plus, $5 at the door, and the show starts at 10 15. So get out there and party with the queens. Yeah. <laughs> They're always fun. I love them. <laughs> and then um, also at, tomorrow at the Union is the Josh Farmer Band. Um, and I've got permission to play one of their songs. So this is one of the Josh Farmer Band songs, Up To Us. Watch as the light bulb flashes and skin rashes, dots and dashes for shadow most. They'll be at the Union tomorrow night for free. And then also tomorrow night, there's music at the Top Hat, the Sunrise, Dark Horse, and Badlander. Great. So those are your events for tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like it's going to be a quite yeah. a, yeah. a, yeah. quite a, quite a, quite a night for you weekend warriors out there. It is. And yeah. finals are over, so I expect everyone is super excited and very pleased. I know I am. Yeah, I'm and... Um, my sister just had a baby on oh, Thursday. Congratulations. Uncle Scott, congratulations. Yeah. I'm little, uh, little uncle now. If only I How's could, it feel? How's it, it feel feels the exact same, except yeah. I have a <laughs> little nephew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can actually bring up a picture. Me too. I My sister had a baby a couple years ago, and so I'm an aunt, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just glad that I don't have one of my own. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I hear that was super hard. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, cute. There's my little Danica Kelly. Oh, she's so cute. Awesome. Congratulations. Very cute. Babies, very adorbs. Babies are amazing. Yep. Oh, I have a lot of stuff I want to talk about. The first, yeah. um, we have three programs that are premiering tonight. First one is the Wilderness, Wilderness Issues Lecture Series. And that's going to be on at 6 p.m. tonight. And it's basically mountains and rivers are myself turned inside out. Tales of the wild. Next one. Well, here, I'll show you a little clip of that. I do believe, yeah, the global, huh? There it is. Uh, oh, there we go. Yep. He's basically talking about it. it you know, this is an interesting footage you can get. It's just somebody talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's a lot of interesting issues. And for sure, yeah. one of the um, issues that I, the, one of the big things that are going on right now is the diversity, presidential diversity. Mm -hmm. And they give awards to students. That are diverse. That are diverse. Diverse students. Or, or showed what diversity really means. Cool. It's a lot of great stuff. Um, yeah. Um, that's going to be on. And these are all tonight, right? They are all all on tonight. And this one is the diversity. Oh no. <laughs> but no, that's the diversity achievement council student achievement award celebration. Cool. So it's the, um, student association with diversity. And then there's the global health in the global south, Montana's mountains beyond mountains. And I actually have a nap pop from that, which is cool. The ability to work in a very different cultural context um, and in a in a, a different healthcare system, really, because the Indian Health Service, for those of you who heard my talk before, is 
is, is funded and managed very differently from the way healthcare is in the rest of the United States. Yeah, so this is going to be on all Friday night. All of this starts at 6 p.m. and you can have a nice three-hour block of just great, awesome lectures yeah. provided by MCAT, for you. Um, by the community, for, for the community. The community. And yeah, that, yeah. I, wow, I wrapped up pretty quickly. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so that's 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 the end of the show. But great, um, very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, there's lots of fun stuff going on, so get out yeah. there. And now that school's over, everyone can celebrate. Yep, I'm going yeah. to GF so I can see my little niece. Oh, oh wait, Great Falls. Yeah. Yeah. Great Falls. Cool. <laughs> cool. G Funk. G Funk. Where are you going? When are you going? I'm going to um, tomorrow morning. Sweet, have fun. Leave as soon as possible. I love great balls. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. All right, so for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm, I'm Noel McAvoy. I'm Josh Manny. Let's do this again. For Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm Josh Manny. And I'm Noel McAvoy. <laughs> <laughs> have for a good us. weekend, everyone.